Hi everybody on YouTube, very to stick back with another video and I do have the LG Stylo 1 this is for Boost and I believe if you have Metro, Cricket, T-Mobile, Metro PCS phone you should be able to bypass the Google account with the same way if you have Marshmallow this is important this will be applied for Marshmallow LG Stylo 1 so if you have the update already on your phone this method it's gonna work for you you probably have seen this screen it's like a nightmare for you I believe when you uh, hard reset the phone and then you surprise that you have to log in with the same Google account that you have previously uh, logged in uh, before so everything synced to that account by the sudden you forgot it and you know what it is so this tutorial will help you out to bypass the Google account or the FRP factory reset protection on your phone if you have the LG Stylo 1 as I said boost mobile this unit it's a boost mobile unit so but that should be applied with the other phones let's gonna find out together how you can bypass the Google account on the LG Stylo. Before we start guys, I want to just pay your attention. I'm not doing this tutorial for people find phone or steal phones. Please if you find any phone or something, bring it back or take it to the police station and they will take care of that and let's gonna go back where you need to connect your phone to Wi-Fi so go ahead and connect your phone to Wi-Fi because you need to use the web and then you can choose the language that you like and then go back to the main screen you should be able to go to accessibility settings then hit on the accessibility settings and I want you to go to motor and cognition click on this and you will be find something called touch assistance then once you see the touch assistant enabled you should be able to see this icon you can move it anywhere anywhere you want and you should be no problems and you will see this window all I need from you hold on home and keep hold till the phone take you to the Google say no thanks and then I want you right away type setting so this is settings and then once you are in the settings just want to let you know if you're trying to back up factory set you're not going to be able to so that's not going to be useful for you so I want you to go to apps you should be able to see apps over here after that the application I want you it's not going to be in this list so I want you to go to three dots on the top and show system so very much you have all the files over here you have to keep scroll down till you find something called wizard I'm gonna take you to it so follow my steps I need setup wizard here we go we find setup wizard click on setup wizard and you will see a button to disable go ahead and disable this and then just hold the power and restart your phone now we have restarted the phone as you guys can see we still have this uh, icon over here and this time I want you to go ahead and hit next next choose your language and then if you connect it to Wi-Fi it's okay and then go next what's gonna happen all the setup wizard it's gone so that way you will have access to the phone with no problems just say go ahead and put done they will tell you congratulations you have past the setup wizard as you guys can see I do have access to the phone but we did not finish yet so I want you to go to the settings go to general now I want you to go back up and reset make sure you have 33 percent on your battery charge or 30 percent should be good or more and then reset your phone and delete all the information now the phone gonna 
make a factory restart in a regular way get go ahead and hit ok and we come back to you after we reset the phone we'll see what can happen now the phone done uh, factory reset go ahead and hit next choose your language you can connect to Wi-Fi if you would if you don't just go ahead and hit next skip anyway and then try to skip if you want if you want to put protection with patterns stuff like that you can do that if you want if you don't just go ahead and try and go next agree term and condition and your phone is fully back to the business that way you can go ahead log in with different gmail account download your apps enjoy using your phone again with no any problems and that was very much it for today i wish you guys found this tutorial very helpful for you if you did please don't forget to leave thumbs up and you subscribe for more variety stick and that was very much it thank you so much again i'll catch you in my next one